check this out, right? You know, I was taught when I was young, I was taught the quiet guy in the room is the most dangerous motherfucker. Follow me, because I'm going somewhere. When I was in school, the person that didn't bother nobody and stayed, no matter what you did, they kind of stayed, they stayed out the way, they was quiet to themselves. My mama always told me, shit, that's the motherfucker you don't want to play with right there. He he the most dangerous one. The guy with the most mouth is usually the weakest. The guy that want to be heard the most. But the one that's quiet, that one that's quiet until itself and not bothering nobody. He's the one you want to leave alone. Kwame Brown was the one that was always quiet. Even when they destroyed his name in the basketball world and talking about he was a bust and dominated him and talked shit about him and talked about how he was a, the worst first round. Oh, just, just dominated the man. I mean, he never say nothing back. I, I, Man, my whole life of watching basketball with Kwame, from the time Kwame Brown was drafted out in, I believe, 2005 or whatever. When he was when he was drafted, I always looked at the man like a pushover. Like, damn, they just push all over Kwame Brown. I mean, get a young dude a chance. Give him a chance. You know what I'm saying? But they done woke the sleeping dragon and that nigga's a beast. I told my brother when he had like, Kwame Brown just had like 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. Maybe uh, uh four days ago. <laughs> He's at 40-something thousand today. And counting, and it's still going up every day. Now, it's crazy because I had just DM'd uh, Kwame Brown like, I think it was like three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Because I always wonder what happened to Kwame Brown. I'm like, whatever happened to him? I wonder how is he doing? And then all this shit all came about, man. If I could have got that interview like back then, you know what I'm saying? And then what it would have been, the, what he is now, I would have been ahead of the curve of what's, what's all going on at this whole Kwame Brown wave. That's just speaking from a from a from a um business perspective. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like that man ain't said nothing to nobody from 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 Stephen A. Smith talking about Kwame Brown. He's a bona fide scrub. All that shit, he ain't say nothing. Well, one, number two, and more importantly, Kwame Brown is gone. The city of Angels, Hollywood, just should be celebrated. Throw a parade already, whether you win a championship or not. This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small Everybody stores his name. Everybody stores his name. Now he called him. They woke him up. And now he a silverback. Now they don't know what to do with him. He killed Jamel Hill, and he was telling the truth. I mean, he killing them with facts. Matt Barnes, Stephen Jackson. Now he on Charlemagne the God, and and the, and the brother is really, really his message is really about black people need to be empowering each other. Why are we destroying each other? They told him it was jokes, is what he said. So he said, well, since it's jokes, oh man, his jokes is him below the belt, and he cutting them deep. And it looked like he with all the bullshit. So I just want to step in and say, and like if you agree with me right now, Kwame Brown, his new life, his new YouTube life is about to be way bigger than his basketball career. They should have let that die. They, that basketball shit, they should have left that man alone because what he is right now, oh, his name is starting to be one of the hottest names across the YouTube world. His algorithm or whatever they call that shit, analytic. I mean, it's it's getting ready to go up and up and up. The man, I got forty some thousand subscribers in a matter of two days, and it's going to keep getting bigger because he's not saying nothing is wrong. Everything that he's saying is factual about how we need to be together, come together, speak together, run. You know what I'm saying black empire, black. You guys take y'all platforms and destroy another brother. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing the white man a favor, so to speak. Y'all doing a man job for him. We going against each other. Everything y'all have done to Kwame Brown has been destroying his name, and now he's silverback with it. He's... <laughs> hey, they always told me, I just want to say, they always told me in school, the most quietest one that ain't bothering nobody, you want to leave him alone. That man been off in the damn country somewhere, not bothering nobody his whole career. He let y'all get all that off. He didn't bother nobody. And now he woke. And now he talking that shit. And now everybody act like the man is wrong. Oh, he ain't wrong. He giving you what you asked for. 
<laughs> like if you agree with me. Subscribe right now if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications. Ooh, he on y'all ass, boy. <laughs> hey, Stephen A., you bald forehead. People thinking you tough. Saying all kind of shit like, oh, then you come see me. Well, sign up. Let's go to Seattle and you sign up. Well, Seattle, you ain't got to sign no waiver. Meet me in Seattle where you can have mutual combat and talk like that. Ah, slap a two. You don't look like you got a toupee on the front of your head or how hard I slap the back of your head, motherfucker. The hell you talking about? Y'all got.